Oh, thank you, thank you. Porter, come here. Hi, my name is Scott Lissa. I'm here at beautiful Sugarloaf Mountain. This is Porter and this is Gus Gus. And we're gonna tell you about the three top off-leash dog parks here in Nanaimo. The first off-leash dog park is found at Colliery Dam. Now this is right next to the university in the south of Nanaimo. Now Colliery Dam has an upper and a lower lake and you want to be at the upper lake. And there's a parking lot you can pull right up in, take your dog out and walk right out to the lake. It's very accessible. Great trails, not a lot of hills for people with accessibility issues. So first one, Colliery Dam, absolutely amazing for people who have dogs that love to go for a swim. The second one I want to highlight is called Invermere Beach and it's one of my absolute favorites. Now Invermere Beach is, it's a little bit hard to access. Parking at the top of the cul-de-sac you now need to walk down a large set of stairs to access the beach. Now once you do you're going to be flabbergasted. Beach as far as the eye can see. Now keep in mind you want to pay attention to the tide schedule before you go down there. High tide no beach, low tide beach as far as the eye can see. But once you get down there and it's low tide, there's sand, there's driftwood, there's rocks, everything for you to explore, tons of dogs to play with. Really, I can't express this enough. Invermere Beach is absolutely gorgeous. one I'm going to highlight is probably the most difficult to access but if you have a large dog that loves to be in the forest and you like to let them chase you on a mountain bike I can't tell you how amazing this individual spot is so Westwood Lake this one you're gonna to have to drive to Arbit Road park in the parking lot just off of this and enter into Westwood Lake Park you're gonna walk around the north end of the lake and there you're going to get to the foot of Mount Benson this is an expansive area, as I said, full of mountain biking trails, amazing rugged nature for you and your dog to explore. Beautiful. If you have a large dog, if you like to let them chase you on your mountain bike, I can't tell you how amazing this is. Actually, as I stand here, I'm looking at Mount Benson right now. I can pretty much see it. Come on, let's go. Run, run. I know I said this is a top three. However, not everybody likes to go off leash in an unfenced area. A lot of people have dogs that just bolt. You take them off leash, they're gone. Or they get freaked out, they're small, you don't want them around large dogs. I get it. So, real quickly, three honorable mentions. These are amazing off leash dog areas in Nanaimo that have fencing around them. Now the first in North Nanaimo is called Pioneer Park. This is not too far away from or Woodgrove Mall. Great little area, fenced, on, amazing if you have a small dog, lots of people usually there with their families. The second one is Bevan Park, right in central Nanaimo. This is right next to the artificial turf fields, so it's great if you're taking your kids for sports. Now the final one, this is one of my favorite ones and it's right below me, is Wardropper Park. It's right next to Departure Bay, a great spot with lots of friendly people sitting around in lawn chairs just hanging out while their dogs play together. So real quick, if you have a dog that bolts when you get them off leash and you want a fenced off leash area, again, these are three great choices for you. Thank you for taking the time to go through this top three list with me. Now real quick, I just want to highlight, it doesn't matter where you live here in Nanaimo. As you can see behind me, I can't think of one neighborhood that you could move to that within a five minute walk you wouldn't be at a forest or the ocean front to start a beautiful walk every day with your dog. So don't overthink where you're going to live. We have beautiful areas no matter where you go. Now. 
thank you again for taking the time. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Give us a like, subscribe. This is Scott Lissa, wishing you a beautiful day, and I hope you get to live the island life soon. Take care.